Update 2.5.2.1 is now live, and it is the weekly reset, so we're going to go over everything that's available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, update 2.5.2.1 is now live, and that was a mouthful. <laughs> that's what she said. Also, it is the weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway for the month of August 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and also we have recently just started the Guardian Watcher Discord, so definitely go ahead and join that growing community, and a link to the giveaway will also be in the description box below. And also the same thing with the Discord. So let's go ahead and start off with the weekly reset, and then we will get into the update after. As for the Traveler, we need to complete 20 bounties for Ikora, as well as get 5,000 clan XP, open 4 chests, as well as complete 2 weapon form ranges. Weapon frame forges. <laughs> then we also need to complete the uh, key to power if you haven't already done so. I'm kind of slacking. Uh, coming to Earth, aka the EDZ, we have the uh, Heroic Adventure, as well as the Flashpoint on the EDZ, and you need to complete Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. Uh, if you do the Heroic versions of the Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three uh, Daily Story Missions, as well as go ahead and complete three uh, Strikes. Modifiers this week are Arc Singe, Blackout, and Grenadier. Nightfall this week, we need to go ahead and complete a Nightfall and a Nightfall of 100,000 points. Nightfalls are the Inside Terminus, the Inverted Spire, and Tree of Probabilities. Coming over to Gambit, we need to get 100% progress in the Reckoning, as well as complete three Gambit matches, complete four Gambit Prime matches, Coming over to Crucible, we need to go ahead and complete five Crucible matches, and the uh, special playlist is Breakthrough. Coming over to the Dreaming City, Petrovent is in the Strand, and we need to go ahead and complete two of her bounties. So let's go ahead and find out what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. So, starting with the weekly offerings, we have the Micro Mini Speeder. Looks pretty cute. Really small. Then we have the uh, Jubilant Shell. That's what I currently have on my Ghost right now. With a little bit of cheese above him. Then we have the Flick of the Wrist, uh, Flick of the Wrist Emote. Like I said before, it would have been cooler if this was like an, a basketball. And he was just using his finger, but, you know, it doesn't work out all that way. Then we have the uh, palm tree projection. Not really much, just a palm tree. Then we have the uh, kit bash shell, which looks pretty awesome in my opinion. It's like a whole bunch of different ghost shells, like mashed together. And then we got the best of year one engrams. As for bright dust, we have your gleaming boon of the vanguard of the crucible, and then we have the forty-four steel shader. Makes you look like tannish. Then we have the mirror mirror emotes. As well as the K Bars uh, Glass Aegis ship. Like a Curse of Osiris uh, ship. And then we have this uh, Wind Shriek uh, Speed or Shrike Speeder. Just another wonderful uh, reskin. Coming down for the events, all these are the same as the past several weeks. Seasonal offerings are the same, obviously, because they remain the same for the entire season. Uh, some of these get added, like when the Bad Juju was uh, released, these two were added. When the Truth was released, this was added. And all this literally is the same. 
Coming down for the archive, same concept. It's all the same stuff that was here last uh, season. And then for the Bright Dust, we have the Flag on the Play emotes. Then we have the buoy Shell. Not really a fan of it. Then we have the uh, Shaded Shell. Ghost gets sunglasses. Or a sunglass, because technically it's only one lens. Then we have the Summertide Kite Shit. Just looks like a giant bug. Micro Mini. I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, buy this one with uh, Bright Dust, because I'm not spending real money on silver. So uh, I'm going to be definitely uh, trying to grind for this. And then we got the Hit Bump Emote. Boop! The uh, Buried Treasure Projection. And then for the consumables, we got your Fire Team Medallion, your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible. Then we got your Tangerine Gloss Shader. This actually looks pretty cool if you weren't so much of a target with all the bright colors. Then we got the Pomegranate Gloss. Then we got the Beach Ball Effects. And last but not least, the Sandcastle Effects. And then obviously you go ahead and grab your bounties. So real quick, I am just going to go over update 2.5.2.1. Why they keep making extra digits on these, I do not know. They should just keep it just a three digit thing. But anyways, as for the Solstice of Heroes, the Solstice Armor Step objective, which you need to defeat 100 mini bosses in the EAZ has been updated, okay? Now, it only requires 50 mini bosses instead of 100. And while you're doing the EAZ, while completing the boss phase actually counts as five mini boss kills. As for the moments of triumph, and forgive me if uh, Bungie made a mistake because I quoted them on it and I was corrected by many people. The moments of triumph end date has been extended to September 17th and it was changed from August 27th. And also the uh, moments of triumph t-shirt can be claimed um, it actually also has been extended as well to September 17th. As for the Sparrows, the Micro Mini um, Sparrow that we seen earlier that I said I was going to be grinding for has a new size appropriate micro drive, whatever the hell that is. And then last but not least, the Collections. The Wolves Unleashed and their Prismatic Inferno Emblem can now be reclaimed in the Collections. So, if you were around um, in PvP for certain um, Iron Banners or when the Prometheus Lens went crazy and it was not, I'm sorry, those shaders were not in your um, Postmaster, then you can go ahead and claim them in your collections. Um, I'm pretty sure Bungie was really good about getting everybody who was present during that time, but just in case, go ahead, check your collections. Uh, for the Wolves Unleashed and the Prismatic Inferno if you guys did not get them. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and definitely go ahead and join that Discord, because the community is slowly growing. And I will see you guys in the next video.